Vestigial traits or body parts are those which would have played a significant role in our evolutionary history, but no longer really have a role in our current lives. If you thought you knew your body well, it's time to blow your mind with the seven vestigial traits you didn't know you had. Number one, your tailbone. While your great-grandfather might not have had a tail, if you go back far enough, your ancestors did. In fact, most mammals at some point in their lives have a tail, even if it's in the womb. For example, in humans, between the stages of 14 and 22 of embryonic development, you see something that kind of looks like a tail, but then it's actually absorbed and fused into a vertebrae. Yo, bruv, you wanna go to the bar and catch some tail? Number two, male nipples. Guys, the truth of the matter is you only have nipples because you could have been female. From a biological perspective, they don't really do that much. Of course, this isn't necessarily an evolutionary vestigial trait, but an embryonic one. We actually made a video explaining how we were all female in the womb until the Y chromosome and hormones like testosterone take over, which help determine your sex. Number three, wisdom teeth. You know those annoying buggers at the back of your mouth that a lot of us have to get rid of? I actually was supposed to get my wisdom teeth out a year ago, but I've been too scared to go get surgery, so I'm just gonna be a rebel and let them grow in. Wise, wise. The human jaw has become smaller over time, so there's actually just not enough room for your wisdom teeth. Dental hygiene may also be to blame. Say what? In fact, scientists believe that in the past, we probably lost more teeth throughout our lives, leaving more room for the wisdom teeth to grow in. Number four, goosebumps. <sighs> When you're suddenly spooked or feel a chill, your skin actually creates all these little bumps and your hair stands up on end. But why? If you were a mammal with more hair, it could be used to scare off predators by appearing a lot bigger or to trap warm air by the skin. But while this reflex may still be useful in things like porcupines or scared cats, the function in humans isn't very significant. Five, the plica semilunaris. It's the little fold of tissue on the inside of your eye. It's not that little bump thingy, but the small flap of skin next to it and many scientists believe it's a remnant of a third eyelid. It is a vestige of the nictitating membrane in birds, amphibians, and reptiles, which is translucent and moves across the eye lengthwise to keep the eye moist while still allowing them to see. At some point, humans would have lost it, but now this small piece still remains. Number six, the Palmer grasp reflex. This one is really cool. So if you take your finger or something similar and put it in the palm of a baby's hand, it will automatically close with surprising strength. So much strength that around 37% of babies can support their entire body weight this way. This would have been really useful when we had a lot more hair so that the babies could hold on tight while the mother was free to roam around and use both hands. The reflex even works on an infant's feet up to around six months old. Number seven, the ear. Not the whole ear, obviously, but there are many parts that, in the case of monkeys, are used to move the ear around in different directions in order to hear better. For most humans, however, they just sit there. Unless, of course, you can wiggle your ears. Like me. Then you're just awesome and special. Or perhaps just less evolved. So there you have it. Your body isn't all that it seems to be. We wanted to send a special thank you to Casper Mattresses who supported this episode, which is an online premium retailer and they sell really nice mattresses for a fraction of the cost. We actually recently got one ourselves and love it. It combines latex and memory foam together for better nights and brighter days. And it's honestly a super comfortable mattress and has just the right sink and bounce. Not to mention it's affordable, has free delivery, and they let you try it out for up to 100 days. No showroom visits necessary. You can save an additional $50 by going to casper.com slash asapthought and using the promo code asapthought. That's casper.com slash asapthought with the promo code asapthought. And with that, you'll be on your way to fully resting your useless vestigial body parts. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and we will see you on Saturday for the vlog. Peace! Peace.